Hey you gay boys, welcome to Chat Shit Get Fit. Number 11, I think. I haven't checked and are so organised. So today I'm doing just like a Chat Shit Get Fit, as I've said. And we're going to go into, we're just doing eyeshadow. We're going to go into where I've been. I've got a new background. Hello, fairy lights. Oh, I'm so scared. I've also finally got a desk. I've got an office chair. Hi, bitch. So yeah, we're just going to talk shit today. I'm really excited to just like update you all where I've been. I have some nice new products to play with to try. I've got a new sponge, which has been ripped by some little bitch. So if you want to see how I achieve this eye look, obviously I'll be doing a foundation in a review. I have this Superstay foundation. I'm doing a first impressions of that foundation. Check the link in the description box for uh, that first impressions i'm also really sorry like i've noticed i completely forgot i wasn't looking in the camera while filming this video and the last video i just like i've got a phone so like when i do this i'm looking at me myself you know i can't help it i'm just like i'm just narcissistic so i'm gonna try and just from in the future remember to look into the camera yeah so with that being said let's get into the video <laughs> okay so i've already done my foundation contour and highlight if you want to see that video link is in the description it is actually a review of the superstay foundation i'm kind of living i don't like the application of this foundation it looks nice so if you want a full review check the link in my description and you'll see me apply it and do like a first impressions and just like talk about it so i have two new palettes to play with i have the nyx ultimate palette and I have a Nudes of New York palette. I think I'm going to save the Nudes of New York palette by Maybelline. I think I'm going to save that for another video. So I'm going to just go in with the NYX palette today. I really kind of want... I, was, I hate these plastic inserts. But I always keep them. How stupid is that? This palette just looks really fucking pretty. I want to do like a ready neutral look. So we're just going to go straight into it. So I'm going to get like a tapered blending brush. I'm going to start talking about the application though because I really want to talk to you guys about where I've been. Yes, yeah, so life has definitely been a little bit crazy for me. But I'm doing something, you know. So like I said, I want to talk about where I've been in this video. So to be real with you, I kind of just got motivated to not film. I'm quite busy all the time. And I was using one of those double-edged safety razors. To be honest with you, it got to a point where it just wasn't shaving me properly. And it was leaving stubble and it was ruining like my makeup. And every time I sat down to film a makeup video, I, the finished product was just not making me happy. And it just made me feel so like ugly and disgusting. So I just made the decision to like stop making videos. And then one day I was like kind of in a slump. I was kind of bored. Like I'm just so busy all the time that on on my off days i'm just like being so lazy i'm not cleaning up i'm just playing videos like uh, playing games i just kind of got like lazy and unmotivated and i just got so in a slump i'll say a slump like i was just sat down all the time either watching youtube playing video games or just doing nothing i feel so old when i say video games i don't know why. so i just kind of like slapped myself in the ass and I'm like do you know what i'm gonna sit down and start filming again and okay so i think a big thing that i need to talk about is why i will not be featuring makeup revolution so i just think it's gotten to the point now where it was cute that they did dupes in the beginning but it's gotten to the point where every product that comes on the market they're doing like blatant copies of it's no longer a dupe it's it's full-on like plagiarism and they also, they do so many collabs with influencers and it's gotten to the point now where they have done really questionable collabs and I'm not going to name names because I'm just not about that and I'm broke as f so who am I to judge? But, it, but very questionable influences where I can't really trust your morals anymore as a brand if, if over the paycheck and over the concerns of consumers you're just doing collabs with certain people that people have said don't want you to do collabs with and make that money of course i just i don't know i'm kind of over them as a brand and i will no longer be featuring them i've thrown away all my eyeshadow palettes i literally had such a huge collection of them because i thought they were such a good brand but i'm kind of over it i'm just done my, it was kind of old makeup anyway like makeup that i I hadn't bought for so long and I was just like, do you know what? I um I, I bow out, I bow out, I'm done. That's okay. We can make these decisions as adults, we're allowed. You know, it was fun while I used their products. I enjoyed their products. I'm not gonna say that they're bad products. I can't say that they're bad products, but 
as a consumer, from a consumer standpoint, I've, I'm done. And I think that that's okay, you know. On, onwards and upwards, I always say. I don't always say that, actually, but very that. It will be a slow phasing out, to be real. Like, I'm only human. So I really plan to film more in the upcoming um, month, definitely. So I, I want to film more often. I, I want to be really start back up properly in January because I just want to I want to do something that I enjoy and that's fun. And obviously, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful of a job that I have. I'm very grateful of, you know, doing college and I, I, I know that I'm going to enjoy doing hair. But I want like a hobby, like a fun hobby. Like what's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with that. Stop judging me. Maybe a little bit more blending. Oh, that looks cute. Oh, yes. So I know that this is most likely January. I'm uploading this video, but it is now like a week before Christmas. So as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by my eyeliner. So I know that I'll be uploading this in January, but I'm filming this like a week before Christmas. And I already know the palette that I'm getting. I asked for one thing this year. I was like, if you're going to get me anything, get me one thing. Get me the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Aina palette. Because I saw that it was still available and I was like, oh my god. Finally, I could get this palette. I wanted this palette so long ago. And I thought that they'd stopped selling it. Excuse me? Who do you think you are? Oh my god, it looks so hot. Yes. So I'm so excited to get that palette and just like play around with it. Obviously, that will be getting its own dedicated video. Yeah. Where are we at? Ho mascara. And then we're done. Oh my god. I feel like I haven't been filming that long, so we'll see. I'm finally have... Yes, bitch! So I finally have a lipstick. And it's not the colour that I thought it was. So we'll see, we'll see how I feel. Oh, that's actually cute. So I'm gonna do my hair, brush my hair, and I'll be right back with the video. So I'm back. Hi, bitches. Yeah, so that was obviously the chat shit, get fit video. I've done my eyes. Um, and we just talked about shit. You know, I aim to be back. I aim to be consistent through January and throughout. Thank you for letting me have a wobble. Thank you for letting me have a moment. I really appreciate it. So yeah, I definitely want to do more videos. I definitely want to get back in the swing of things now. And we'll do more first impressions. We'll do more reviews. We'll do more chat shits, get fits. And all of that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you liked it. Comment if you're a nostro. And subscribe if you want to see more of a little gay boy in your newsfeed. But with that being said, my name is Daniel. And have a lovely rest of your day. 